What's up, guys? Merry Christmas, and welcome back to Short Story Sunday here at the Sci-Fi Bookery. This is our last short story out of Christmas bestiary, at least for now. I might jump back into it at another time, but this is for December. We did a story out of this every week for Short Story Sunday. So this one is The Christmas Seal by Jane Linskold. Now, Jane Linskold does a lot of really weird fantasy, and this is no doubt one of the strangest stories that I've ever read. Um, not strangest ever, but definitely really weird. Strangest one out of this book for sure. Um, if you haven't been following along, Christmas Bestiary is a collection of short stories by various artists, and they are all about mythical creatures, cryptozoology, that kind of thing. Well, this particular one, Christmas Seal, kind of a play on words there with the Christmas seal is what they used to call Christmas stamps, and it's about a group of seals, actual physical seals, um, in a zoo. So this woman, dressed in all very slick leather, walks into a zoo past the security guards with a uh, basket on wheels. And we find out that she is headed over to the seal habitat. And from there it gets really strange. The The story is only like three pages long, um, which is what I love about this book is there's different, there's a variety of, of story lengths, which is what makes a good short story anthology is there's something in there for everybody, you know, this one was only a, like three pages long. And so this woman goes over and she's kind of looking around. She's really suspicious. It's Christmas Day. And it's mentioned that Christmas Day is a time for magic and miracles to happen. So this woman comes up and she opens up her case and there's a bunch of fish she starts throwing the fish in the seals are going crazy they love it they're barking at her and she's talking back as if she understands them <clears throat> then a security guard shows up and i'm going to kind of spoil this story right now um because it is so short that it's tough to say something that's sort of intriguing without spoiling the story so she takes off what she's got on and dives into the seal habitat. So the, the guard, of course, is going crazy because he thinks somebody fell in. He's going to get uh, help so that he can, they can pull him out, pull out her out of the seal habitat. And then she starts speaking to the seals and they're speaking back in the language of the seals. And we find out that she transformed into a seal and it's assumed that every Christmas she does this. She leaves the habitat and goes out and gets fish for Christmas dinner. It was a very quaint, bizarre story, and I liked it a lot. Um, you kind of see, I guess you kind of see the twist coming. There's, there's mentions throughout the story describing what she's wearing, her behavior, that sort of thing. The way she interacts with the fish, the way she interacts with the seals, you kind of kind of see it building, but the crescendo is still really cool. And it's a beautiful story, and I liked it a lot. It, it, was, it was all about Christmas magic and, and the wonder of Christmas. And I think that's what was really cool about this book. And I highly recommend picking this up, Christmas Bestiary. I found it at my local bookstore in the sci-fi fantasy section, but I'm sure you can get it on eBay or something like that. But I would really recommend this. I, I want to get through the rest of these. I think over Christmas vacation, I'm probably going to finish this up. But it's been a lot of fun going through these with you. And next week, New Year's Day, look for an all new short story Sunday, not about Christmas. I'm actually uh, reviewing or going over one of my favorite Short Stories, The Hobbyist by Frederick Brown, my favorite sci-fi writer. Well, he also writes horror, mystery, suspense, and this is one of those. So starting in January, we're getting back into the usual short story Sunday kind of thing. But it's been a lot of fun reading Christmas short stories out of Christmas bestiary here. From all of us here at the Sci-Fi Bookery, literally just uh, myself, Josh, and, and the dog. Now you don't want to be in it. I just introduced you. Anyways, from all of us here at the Sci-Fi Bookery, we wish you a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. We'll see you next time.